All right, guys, let's check out the Damasco DB5. So big thanks to Ned, who is a patron of mine, who sent over this watch and another watch. But uh, I got to be honest with you, this is a brand, along with a ton of other made in Germany brands, that uh, I need to check out. But for some reason, I just don't buy them. And I think a lot of other people are in the same camp where they check all these boxes and they make absolute sense to purchase but for some reason, we don't buy them. But I'm telling you, once you get them in hand, not only do they check those boxes, but they're also a killer watch because there is a difference. You can check those boxes and the watch still not bond with you. And I think this brand, along with Zinn and some of the big ones, um, along, you know, hopefully I'll check out more and hopefully they do it too. But this actual watch, this DB5 right here, Man, this is really, really pulling at me. So let's get into the case here real quick, and then we'll talk about some other features. It is a 40 millimeter case, 48 lug to lug. You can see the drilled lugs there. 12.3 thick, flat sapphire crystal, AR coating top and bottom. I know a lot of people do worry about scratching the sapphire or the uh, anti-reflective coating on the top of the sapphire. It can happen. It certainly can happen. But there's a lot of watches out there, including my Seamaster, that has the AR coating on the top. And um, I don't really worry about scratching it. If it happens, it happens. And you will see it. But uh, just, it still, it makes the crystal invisible. Like, it looks like you can just reach in and touch the hands. So I do really like the coating on the top and the bottom on certain watches. 20 millimeter lug width here, so you can... Put whatever strap you want on this easily. You know, I could see this wearing on like uh, some pretty cool NATOs or some Erica straps. Something with that ties in with that blue. That blue seconds hand deserves another accent piece on the strap, I think. Whether it be a blue stitching or a blue stripe down uh, something. Uh, this is a really nice leather strap that it comes on and it has the little protector here for the buckle and everything. And it uh, does taper. So and this thing has been worn. This is ice hardened steel, uh, no nickel steel, stainless steel, ice hardened, 710 Vickers. And this is where you start checking those boxes, guys. Viton crystal or uh, gaskets. The crystal is fitted in such a way that uh, it can sustain 200 meter depth ratings, but also a negative pressure burst. It can handle it as well because. I've never heard of it happening, but I suspect that it could happen in certain situations where you enter into a negative pressure situation or a vacuum, I guess, and the crystal can actually pop away from the watch. This one won't do that. Um, it's using an ETA 2836, so day-date function there, also really cool, nicely laid out in the dial with that crosshair there, and then the day-date right below it with the branding right above it, it all just looks so on purpose and I think that's what you get a lot of the times with these German made watches is everything is on purpose so uh, anti-magnetic cage up to 80,000 AMs um, uh, Viton gaskets I already talked about that the negative pressure this one here get this this is another thing that really really attracts me is you can look down here it says DB 5.0021 well that's their way of saying this is number 21 of 30. Now, I know they don't say it's of 30, but when you go to the website, I'll put a link in the description, there's only 30 of these, and this is number 21. I love limited edition watches. So when you're only making 30 of them, and this is not a small brand, this is a pretty big brand, that's pretty special. Excellent traction on the 6.3 millimeter crown here. So... Uh, it honestly looks like a larger crown than it is, but it is a 30 mil, but excellent traction on that. I really like the tone of the uh, steel on this. And then I love the brown or tan, whatever you want to call it. The indices, the hash marks, the handset completely covered. There's no border. It's the entire hand is covered with it. The sword handset. And then that really nice contrast pop of blue on there to mix it up. Even the print on the day and date wheel matches everything else everything is on purpose this is what i was talking about before on some other seiko videos that i just mentioned where you know take it up a notch guys give us a little bit more because this watch right here you can buy this brand new 
for $1,280 and you basically get everything short of a bracelet. I don't know what more could you possibly want out of a watch. This thing is spectacular. The more I talk about it, the more I could easily talk myself into buying it. So let me put this on a wrist real quick. It's a little weird with that uh, protector there. Once you get past that, you're good. But there you go on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Just perfect. And I know some people, this crown does stick out. It's like longer than a lot of crowns. So it depends on where you wear it on your wrist. It could dig into your wrist a little bit. But if you're an avid watch wearer and you wear a lot of watches at the, you know, with crowns at the three o'clock, you kind of build up a little bit of a callus there. So it used to bother me early on, but I've been doing this for like three or four years now and it has to be pretty absurd for it to bother me. And this one doesn't bother me at all. So if you're if you're fairly new into the game, yeah, I mean, you could get bothered by that, but um, it, it legit does not bother me. This thing is just perfect on wrist. I love the color tones. I love the case, the grayish color. It's, it's almost got like a titanium look to it, but I know it's just hardened stainless steel. It's going to be scratch resistant, chemical resistant, uh, basically resistant to everything. So it's just a a well-specced watch at a reasonable price for sure. So let's kill the lights and check the loom on this because the loom is killer as well, even though you wouldn't think it would be with that tan color to the uh, hands and the indices. But look at that, just killer loom, just a nice vibrant green. And look at how much real estate there is with the hands when you delete the border and you just take those hands and just toss them in the loom uh, bin, you know, jar or whatever and then just pull them out like oh, let them sit over the weekend it looks like and you pull them out and you slap them on a watch that's what we like as loom junkies so well done Damasco I appreciate it and this is a killer watch big thanks to Ned for sending this in I'll catch you guys on the next video